All right, so most of you guys know by now that I am trying to get to the bins at least once per month or 12 times during 2023. And I did go a couple weeks ago for May, and this time I brought a friend with me. So let's get right into this week's episode of Friday Thrift Finds brought to you by the Goodwill Outlet, AKA the bins. Hey guys, it's me Kay and you've arrived at my weird little corner of the internet. Welcome. If you're new here, I'm a part-time reseller, mostly on eBay and Poshmark, locally in an antique booth, and occasionally I make sales on Mercari and Depop. And like I said in the intro, this is a good old-fashioned Goodwill outlet, aka the Bins Hall. So if you didn't know, the Goodwill outlet locations are by the pound. I went to the New Hampshire Bins location. It's the only one I've been to besides um, I went to the Austin one. A couple years ago in 2020 2019 I think it was 2020 right before uh, the COVID stuff happened um, but yeah I go there it's two dollars a pound for textiles and I think it's still 30 cents a pound for media and uh, so books and stuff like that as well as glass items I did get a couple from that category but for the main textiles I got 24 pounds here's my receipt as I fumble it Fumble Ruski. Um, 24 pounds, $2 a pound, that's $48. I got 49 items, so that makes my cost of goods for those items about 98 cents, so less than a dollar for everything. And, uh, oh, it's 50 cents for the media. So I spent $2 and I got six items, so they're about 33 cents a piece for those few items for the outlet pricing. So in total, I spent exactly $50. And let's see what I got. So like I said in the intro, I did go with a friend this time. I haven't been with someone else in years. Um, it's just been me going whenever I have time to. She hasn't been since before the COVID pandemic, so it was nice to get her in there. She met me at my house at the ripe hour of 5.30 in the morning. We made it there right before they opened at 7 a.m. We were there, I think, for about four hours, and her first find was a new Tag Max Mara belt, um, so I was really happy that she was able to find some good stuff in the bins. Um, but yeah, it's a lot of clothing, one pair of shoes, that, that's it, that's all I had the energy to grab, um, and a lot of plush, and then I did get a few hard goods, um, mostly for the booth, that type of thing, so yeah, they did slightly change the rules, I'm gonna move over so you guys can see things a little bit better, they did slightly change the rules, so when they rotate any hard goods, you still have to be, everyone has to be behind this yellow line that's near the cash registers. Um, prior to when I just went in May, when they say go, after they rotate everything out and the new bins are in place, everybody runs, even though they say no running, it's like a free for all. But now, when they say go, they put out a chain in the middle of the store and you can only go up to that chain and then they finish rotating out all the bins and when that happens, then they drop the chain. You have to wait until the whole chain is removed and then they say go. So people are still running, but it's just a slightly shorter distance, I guess. Um, but yeah, I, I can't wait for it to go back. Hopefully it does at some point to the way things were before COVID where you just end up where you end up and when you know that they're rotating bins and sometimes you get lucky with the bin. So we're gonna go over the hard goods first. This is just a little like rattan and cane webbing little shelf. This is going straight to the booth. It's super lightweight. I also got this trivet. It's like a wooden carved trivet. I use these for my plants. This one's made in India, has a little sticker back here. Then I got this little beaded doll. I don't know where it's from. There's no mark or anything, um, but she's cute. She should do well um, in the booth. I like to put kind of like destination tchotchkes or like travel tchotchkes in my booth. They seem to do pretty well. Speaking of, I have a Cafe Du Monde from New Orleans mug. I have been there, but since I don't drink coffee, I don't really need this mug. So I'm just gonna wash it up and then put that in the booth as well. 
I got this little carved gourd. It rattles. Um, I've sold a few of these in my booth. I don't know what animal this is supposed to be. Uh, it kind of looks like, I don't know, like a kangaroo or a mouse or something. I, I don't know. It's got weird arms and there's the butt. Um, but yeah, that's going. And this little ball mason jar, no lid, but um, these do really well. This is a, I see quarter cup, six cups six cups I grabbed an Urban Outfitters bag I'm just gonna include this when someone buys something from me that is from Urban um, I usually pick those up every time I find them I found this new Timex pedometer I'm only expecting maybe like 15 ish for this but it is new in the package I also got this C2 Summit shovel I have to figure out how to do it. There we go, little shovel. And then in here, you can open the butt end of the handle and you can put a lighter in there. Uh, again, probably 15, 18 maybe on that. I got a big old basket. This is a booth item. It does have a couple small marks inside, but I still think it'll sell anyways. And then I grabbed four books. One's for me, The Girl on the Train. I've been wanting to read this, so when I saw it, I figured I'd grab it. And then three vintage Disney books. These move really fast for me for like six, eight dollars, sometimes 10 to 12 if they're bigger. These are a little bit small, but we have Peter and the Wolf, Cinderella, and Peter Pan and Captain Hook. Let's see when these are from um peter pan has a copyright of 1952 and 1972 so i think that means it's from 72 you have to use the later date um 74 for cinderella and peter and the wolf is 1974 as well so those are the hard goods now let's move on to this bag of plush. Nothing has been listed yet, by the way. Hopefully some things will be by the time this video goes up. But um, my washer has been out of commission while we finish my section of the laundry room. So all the painting and that type of stuff. Um, so we had to disconnect it to get behind the wall to paint. And now I'm just waiting for my contractor. So I haven't been able to wash anything, which is why I haven't listed anything because I want to wash all the clothes um, first before I start listing. But if anything sells, as always, I will just put it on the screen for you guys. Okay, so these are all the plush. First, we have this little Disney Tsum Tsum. It's mini. Um, usually I lock these together, um, but I don't think I have any right now because I've sold off quite a few of Liv's collection. But usually a couple dollars for them unless you get like a rare one or one of the specialty ones uh Liv had like a hawaii version and a new york city version of mickey and minnie and the hawaii one sold pretty fast this one is vintage he's very funky looking it's called king plush never heard of that before from 2002 I think he's supposed to be a raccoon, but he's yellow. I don't know, I just thought he was adorable. So he might be an eBay, he might be a booth. Haven't decided yet. This is Mickey, he's got the Dino Institute on him. And it has a little Triceratops dinosaur and a super stupidly long tag. Um, just a plain Disney tag with the castle. Got a couple Squishmallows. I don't know the names of any of them. This is a little pink squirrel. I think it's a squirrel. It's got a bushy tail with hearts on it. And then this one definitely needs a wash. Um, and I do have a video on my channel. It's less than a minute long if you want to watch it. It's one of my most viewed videos on this channel of how to stain treat and wash Squishmallows. Um, this one is a squish model, Squishmallows Cuddlers. I haven't seen that tag before. Um, so he goes this way and he has legs, but I think this is supposed to be like a llama. I got a little 
Disney Tigger. He's really tiny. This is a Disney Parks tag. I got a teeny tie. This one's got the reverse sparkle, so it can be different colors depending. It looks like it's silver or purple, and its name is Lilac. Um, I also got this TY Flippables Pinky. It's the same thing with the reversing sequins. Um, obviously, this one's a flamingo. I got a Hey Hey, and it talks, but I haven't checked it to make sure that it actually works yet. Um, this is a different Disney tag. I don't know if he moves. I don't think, well, maybe. I can't tell if his head maybe bends down to like peck. Like I said, I haven't put batteries in it to try it. I got a vintage mini. This one is gonna go to the booth because I feel like it's just easier that way. This one has a Disneyland in Walt Disney World tag. But she's in pretty good shape, so to the booth for her. I got a My Melody, which is Sanrio plush. She's really cute. And then I got a little keychain Neko Atsume Kitty Collector. I don't know. I think that might be like an anime. It's on like one of these little silver ball chains. Then I got a Doodle Bear. If you find the original vintage Doodle Bear plushies, like the big ones, I had one when I was a kid. Those are money, so pick those up. This one is from 2006, um, but here's the little Doodle Bear tag. You should be able to still write on this one. It works just the same way, but it's just got a little key clip instead. A couple more plushies. I got two Super Mario. He's backwards. Get it together, okay? Uh, he has a tag 2017 Super Mario. I don't know if this is the original Toad or a different color of Toad. I don't play much Mario. Um, and I grabbed Bowser. He does not have his tag still. Oh, he does. I lied. It's just hidden. Okay, here it is. Um, this one just says Super Mario Nintendo licensed by Nintendo. There's no date. Here is his tag. Um, he's probably not going to be worth as much as his Build-A-Bear version, which is going for about 70-ish, I think, right now. So if you find the Build-A-Bear Bowser, get it listed since that movie is out and now I'm gonna have the Jack Black Peaches song stuck in my head for the rest of this video, but that's fine. And then the last plush I might be keeping, even though I have no business keeping plush because I'm in my mid to late 30s. But this is one of my favorite Pokemon from the later generations. This is Aksu. He's like a little dinosaur and I'm obsessed with him. He has no tag, it's been cut, um, but he kind of looks like the Pokemon Center ones. I've sold quite a few of them, so I don't know if I'm gonna sell him. Otherwise, I might just keep it, so to be determined on that one. Let's move over to the clothes. Uh, I'm trying to go fast, so sorry about that. I don't wanna keep you guys too long. Let me just move stuff out of the way. All right, so everything else that I have fits in this bag that I got at the bins. It's a TJ, actually, sorry. It's a Marshalls bag that says Happy Holidays on it. So I grabbed that at the bins. I said earlier that I grabbed one pair of shoes. It's these, the most adorable pair of little baby mocks that I ever did see. And I had these at the top of my car and so many people commented on them. I had at least like four or five women that came up and talked about how cute they were. They're actually Minnetonka. It's gonna be really hard to see in there, but it says Minnetonka, just trust me. And these are, I don't know what size, size one it looks like. They are leather. They don't look like they were ever worn. I mean, a baby this small is probably not walking anyways. It's been a while since I had a baby this small, so yeah. But those are totally cute and I could not leave them in a bin. All right, and everything else I got is textiles, clothes. Um, well, everything is clothes except for the last item, which is uh, a rug. So this item is new with tags, so I won't wash this because then it won't be new with tags, but everything else is gonna get thrown into my washer as soon as I finish filming this video. So this is Bally Intimates. 
Uh, the retail was $44, black nude. It's called the Minimizer. Minimizes one and a half, and it shows um, before and after, which you can't really tell on this tag. Um, but yeah, so the size is 38, sorry, 36D. Bra, I like to pick up bras in the bins because they're so lightweight and they're a necessity. Speaking of, here's another one. This one's from Victoria's Secret. This one is a Body by Victoria lined demi, size 34 double D. And this one is a pink lace little sexy bra. There might be a third bra in here, I can't remember. Um, it's been a couple weeks and they've just been sitting around waiting for me to haul. Um, this is Chico's The Ultimate Tee, size three, and then underneath it says size XL, which is great because I know they have van vanity sizing and sometimes it's hard for me to remember what size is what, so I love that they put that on there. This is 60% cotton, 40% modal. Chico's is something I'll only pick up at the bins. Um, but I thought this would be cute for summer. It's just a black and white striped tank top. Extra large is a great size. This is another example of something I'll only pick up at the bins. This is Talbot's Plus. It's a 2X and it's a linen and polyester blend. Here's the tag. And this one is green with stripes and then it has little button details over here on the right hand side so perfect time of year for that I also grabbed these wild fable size extra small pants I'm going to see if the small human wants them sorry I should say the younger human because she's about the same height as me now uh, if not then they will get listed they are like a jogger style cargo cargo pant in like a terracotta color Okay, there is another bra. So this one is from Aerie. I love Aerie myself. Uh, this is a 36C. Don't know what style it is. I pretty much only wear sports bras. I am not showing this well. I am sorry, guys. Well, it's still not gonna show right, but at least it's clasped. So yeah, there's that bra. This is a new brand to me, but the comps look decent. Some of them say Anthropology, some of them don't, so I don't know if it actually is or not. But the tag looked nice, so that's what made me look it up in the store. It's a one size, and the brand is LF Marky. I have no idea why I picked this up, other than I wanted to look up the brand, because it's a sweater, and we're now in June, and it's also a turtleneck sweater. but. I like the color. I wanted to see how it does because I love trying new brands. It's like a very oversized fit. We got a sports bra from Nike. It's a size large. Just a basic with the swoosh, black with the white. Here's something I could potentially sell with that Urban Outfitters bag that I showed you a few minutes ago. These are from BDG, which is their house brand, just like a high rise short. Um, these are a size 26. Uh, it does have the OB number in here, which sometimes you can look up and it says Boulder, but I don't know if that's the color. They have a hidden button fly. Um, it doesn't say BDG anywhere. Oh, it does. Inside um, the pocket, but I knew in the bin because of these three red stripes on the back. Oh, I forgot about this. Okay, so this was I think the one of the last finds that I grabbed and I don't know why someone put it back. It looks to be in really good shape. And this is one of my favorite brands to sell. It is American Giant size medium. Um, they make a lot of great basics in solid colors and they do really well for me. I don't know what this is made of. Oh, Supima cotton. It feels super nice. And it is a V-neck tee. Sorry for the background noise. The cat is having her crazy kitten hour. Always at the most inconvenient times. Um, here's another thing I only pick up at the bins. Coldwater Creek PXL, so petite, extra large. 
and I have hair in my lip gloss again. I should know better. Um, I just thought this one was really cute. It's a blue and like a teal plaid and it does have embroidery here at the collar on both sides. This is Wilfred Free, which is an Aritzia brand, which is kind of the equivalent of um, Anthropology in Canada. This is a size extra small. It's gonna be hard to show, but it is a midi tank dress in blue. Hopefully I can find the stock photo because I probably won't be able to do it justice otherwise. This is a vintage t-shirt. It's not single stitch, but the graphics from 1994. And it's on a Nutmeg Mills tag, which I've never seen. Size medium, made in USA. And it's a New England Patriots tee, how appropriate for me. Um, and it does have a back hit as well. So the back has the legs. I don't know what she is doing over there. Um, this is a personal buy. This is Airy, size medium. When I pulled this out of the bin, my friend that I had gone with, Daniela, said that looks like a K hoodie. And it absolutely is. It's oversized fit. It has the little tie detail at the neckline. Love that. This is Victoria's Secret Pink, and it does need a little bit of a sweater shave. Um, it's a size large, though. That's why I grabbed it. Here's the tag. Bro, can you calm down? No, she said no. Um, and this is a pink, kind of like ombre dip dye spirit jersey type of deal. It has the big pink on the back and then the dogs on the front if you missed that. Oh, we have another bra. I think this one's airy also. Let me find the tag if I can. I know I saw it somewhere, but I can't find it right now. Oh, here it is. It's so tiny. Airy size large, lacy black bralette. These do okay for me. They're not like huge money makers or anything, but paying, you know, less than a dollar at the bins, fine. Uh, this brand I think I've sold once before, way back when I first started reselling about six years ago. Um, this is Jack's Girlfriend. I don't know if it still does well or not, but I figured I would try it out. Size small, and this is a blue and white flannel shirt. Nothing special. Um, it does have little snap pockets here. These might end up staying. Don't know yet. Um, these are Nike size extra large and they're just gray jogger sweats. I have no idea if they're men's or women's. I haven't looked up the number inside and it does have a little swoosh over here. Getting close to the end guys. Um, this is J. Jill Love Linen, size large, great for this time of year and it's like a pinky purple color. As the name implies, it is Linen Blend. All right, this is my first time picking up this brand. I heard about this from, I think it was Bob Bai, so thank you, Bob, if you're watching. This is Built, B-Y-L-T. This is the Drop Cut SS, which I assume means short sleeve, size large. Don't know if this is men's or women's. I haven't done much research yet. Um, but this is just a basic short sleeve tee, hoping for around $20 for that. This is another Wild Fable, size large, and it's like a ribbed sleeveless dress. Kind of gives me like preppy clueless vibes, to be honest. All right, this is the second time I've picked up this brand. The first time was I think the last trip that I made to the bins. It still hasn't sold yet, but it's also a sweater and we're in spring, almost summer. So this is Cupcakes and Cashmere, size large. This one I think is cuter than the last one, which was uh, just a sweater that had like a hot cocoa graphic on it. This one is a blue button front cardigan. It's very soft feeling, so hopefully that one will do well. 
two clothing items left and then I just have the little rug um, that I said was at the end. These are odd socks. I have sold these once before. I don't remember what the print was, but they came in a Thread Up Fun box. Uh, these are Swedish Fish and they fit sizes 8 through 12. Swedish Fish. And then the last clothing piece is And Other Stories. The Stockholm Atelier, I know they have a couple different ateliers on their labels. Um, this is part of the H&M family. So H&M, COS, and, and other stories. I have done okay with this brand in the past, so I decided to pick it up at the bins when I saw it. These are a size 26, hidden button fly. And these are a straight leg jean. I'm trying to do my best to stay away from the skinnies unless I'm picking them up for myself because your girl loves the skinny, but the straight legs and flares especially are what are selling for me. And the last thing I picked up is for my booth. It's just this rug, or I assume it could be used as a tapestry. Here's the print. I'm gonna just cover all the things. Hopefully you guys can see. Um, and this is just going to my booth. I've been looking for something to replace the rug that's in my booth space for a while. Um, and the last one I have, I got from the bins pre-COVID. Oh, sorry, post-COVID, but in the beginning. So, um, yeah, it's been there for a while since I opened my booth, which was November of 2020. So, yeah, it definitely needs a replacement, but that's everything that I got for $50 at the Goodwill outlet. Definitely less than a dollar per piece, especially if you average it out between, you know, the couple books that I paid 50 cents a pound for, um, and then the 98 cents per item for the textiles and plush. Can you not? Get a kitten, they said. It'll be fun, they said. It hasn't been fun. <laughs> it's just been stressful and annoying. <laughs> She's cute, but ugh. Okay, so yeah, like I said, that's everything for this thrift haul. Let me know how you think I did. I'm excited to get these things washed and listed. Um, I personally have been loving going to the bins once a month. I honestly wish I could go more often, but the kid doesn't like going there. And so I am kind of relegated to going on weekends when she's with her dad and not me. Um, but it's really helped bring down my average cost of goods overall for my business. And also I find that I sell the items a lot faster because I am not attached to them because I have paid less than a dollar or a little over a dollar depending on the day and you know how many pairs of shoes I get that brings the cost of goods up a little bit but yeah it's been nice so I hope I can keep it up so far so good I, it's June I haven't been for June yet but it's only June 4th so you know I've only had a few days <laughs> um but so far I'm at five for five months. This cat ran herself so ragged that she's now wheezing. <laughs> so if you hear that in the background, I'm sorry. Thank you for bearing with me during this crazy kitten parent time. Um, it's been interesting. So yeah, that's all for today. Thank you so, so much for watching. As always, let me know how you think I did in the comments down below. Let me know maybe what your favorite item was. But otherwise, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. It really helps me out here on YouTube to know what type of content you enjoy seeing from me. If you're not already subscribed, please consider subscribing. I would love to have you here in my weird little family on the internet and I hope to see you next time. Bye guys.